DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Let's get a sports talk. It's so hard to believe, Tay, that we're just a week away from the college football playoff selection show. So, uh, Florida, with the help of that silly shoe-throwing penalty, <laughs> loses their football game uh, just one week before facing Bama in the SEC championship game. Here's Gators head coach Dan Mullen after the loss to LSU when asked about his team's playoff chances should they upset Bama. I don't have a vote on that. I'm not in the room. You know what I mean? I know we've played 10 games. Right. So I guess probably the best thing to do would have been play less games because you seem to get rewarded for not playing this year in college football. All right. So we say good morning to Paul Feinbaum. Hello, Paul. It appears that Mullen is taking a shot at Ohio State, uh, presumably with the Buckeyes having those. You could take a shot at Ohio State. It's not that they got rewarded. For a playoff spot or got rewarded in a Big Ten championship, it wasn't their fault that their game got canceled majority of the season. You you can't blame anyone for the old mistake your team made in this game against LSU. LSU uh, uh, Ohio State can't control this this pandemic. They can't control that. Their games get canceled. That's the only reason they gave them opportunity to play a Big Ten championship game. And gave them opportunity to pl- uh, to get to the playoffs. You know why? Because Ohio State possibly could have ran the table if their games would have got canceled. And they would have probably ended up in a Big Ten championship game and possibly won that game and got in the playoffs. That's not on them when y'all make the mistakes and lose a focus against LSU and I probably look past them for Alabama game. It's not their fault that y'all lost. Five games this season, the change of rules now allowing them to play in the Big Ten Championship. So what is your reaction to Mullen's comments? Hannah, I apologize for quoting Macbeth so early on a Sunday morning, but that's a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. I love Um, it. First of all, uh, (laughs) that's the second loss for the Gators. Uh, They lost to Texas A&M, and now they've lost at home as a 23-point favorite to LSU, a team that has really done nothing this season. It was a huge rivalry game. They were sloppy. Uh, Kyle Trask made mistakes and the unforgivable shoe penalty. But you know, if, if the two were to meet, where, where I'm talking about Ohio State and Florida, I would take Ohio State. Uh, coach Mullen, I, I think you're a great coach. I love you, but uh, you're going nowhere with that argument. Yeah, and by the way, Christmas decorations should go up whenever you want them to. So, I mean, my beef with him go- is like your team wasn't focused. When you make mistakes in these games, teams that they put you against and you're the 23 point favorite and you're forced to win that game, when you make those teams like LSU that struggled this year, could take advantage of it because you keep them in the game a whole lot. And that's why the outcome, what it is, and LSU won the game. Because they made less mistakes, y'all made more. And y'all lost y'all two games. Ain't no chances. Y'all, y'all win a, if y'all win the SEC championship, y'all probably go to a, a New Year's Six Bowl possibility. Um, but when you lose to two games, it knocks you out of the playoff hunt. And our State probably run the table against y'all. Let's go way back to that. Um, three turnovers for <laughs> Kyle Trask against LSU. Uh, let's let's start with taking care of the football, okay? So how did last night's game for him impact those Heisman chances? Well, he's no longer the favorite. Uh, a week ago we talked about that, and he was barely ahead of, of Mac Jones, and, and now he's clearly behind. And, of course, Mac Jones has to worry about Devontae Smith on his own team. But Kyle Trask has an opportunity. Uh, as, as tough as last night was, he plays in the feature game of the year in the SEC next week. And should he 
just go crazy, which he's capable of, and upset Alabama. It may not help the Gators get in the playoff, but it could vault him to the champion, to the to the Heisman Trophy. One one other person that keep your eye on next week is Trevor Lawrence. He he could have uh-huh. he did not play this past weekend, but if he has a monster game against Notre Dame, uh, he could also uh, give Trask and, and Mac Jones a run. Against Notre Dame. I saw what you did there. Okay, Paul. Because <laughs> yeah, we got to stay, you know, you know, we have to be simpatico. Like, we have to, you know, stay on the same side here. Um, all right, Paul, love you. See you later. Nice Macbeth. Good talking to you, my friend. All right, conference championship games get underway next week, and Alabama will face off against Florida, as you know. So each team has made the conference championship game 13 times, and then you look around the rest of the country, and Paul was talking about Trevor and Clemson uh, looking for redemption against Notre Dame. Of course, Trevor was not the quarterback when they lost to the Irish in South Bend. Meanwhile, USC and Ohio State hoping to keep their perfect seasons intact as well. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live-